the equations y is equal to the square root of the quantity 4 plus x, x equals 0, and y equals 0, define the bounds of a region. Find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region about the x-axis. Notice it says without a calculator. All right, so first let's try to picture what this graph is going to look like. So we have y is equal to the square root of 4 plus x. So the vertex of our square root function is going to be through negative 4. And then at negative 3, it's going to be at 1. And then at 0, it's going to be at 2. So it's going to look something like this as we graph it. And it's also bounded by x equals 0 or the y-axis and y equals 0 or the x-axis. So it's this area right here and it's being rotated about the x-axis. So we're going around here. So we're going to end up creating little mini disks vertically here. And we can clearly see from the graph that the volume equation is going to be pi times the integral. And because we're rotating about the x-axis, we're going to be integrating with respect to x. And the lower and upper bounds are easy to see here. It's from negative 4 to 0. And you could set um, the radicand equal to 0 in order to solve for negative 4. And then you know that you are stopping at the y-axis or the x value of 0. And now for our function, it's going to be the square root of 4 plus x. And the other bound is 0, so we don't have to put a minus 0 there. And then we're going to square it because that's going to be our radius value. And now we can solve this. So we have pi times the integral from negative 4 to 0. of, well, the square root of 4 plus x squared is just going to be 4 plus x and then dx. And then if we integrate, we still have the pi outside, we're going to have 4x plus x squared over 2. And we're going to evaluate from negative 4 to 0. Again, let's fix that negative 4. So that doesn't look like a 9. All right, and if we substitute 0 in here, we are going to have 0 for both terms, and then we are going to subtract. Well, 4 times negative 4 is negative 16, and then plus negative 4 squared is 16 over 2, which is 8. So we're going to have pi times 0 minus negative 16 plus 8 is negative 8, or pi times positive 8, because the minus negative make a plus positive. So we have 8 pi as our answer, or answer choice B.